Number two, what has caused you to sustain your level of commitment to God's Word? My unwillingness to become anything or anyone that would ever hurt Him. I will not hurt God. There was a, there was a man that, that, made a, that actually quoted, he, he has this quote, it's not my quote, but what he said was this, he said, no man is a fool who is willing to give up that which he cannot keep for something that he cannot lose. No man is a fool who is willing to give up that which he cannot keep. You can't keep this life. You can't keep this time. I don't care if you're, you're 20 years old and you know, you're Miss America, and they're not really that pretty anyway. But the, if, if, you're, if you're a person who is the most naturally pretty person that there ever is, you can't keep it. It's on its way out. If you have a moment with it, be grateful. But that only just proves most of them have low self-esteem anyway, because internally they're not what they are externally. Amen, ladies. They, the, uh, and, and so with all of that in mind, with all that in mind, give up what you have in order to get what you cannot lose. Give to God that which is already leaving you. It's already leaving you, so you give it up anyway. Hey, at least if you give it up honestly, he'll kind of take it as though you would give it to him. He already realizes that you're smart enough to be able to do, to do a little bit of bean counting and understand that this life is, is passing away. If you live to be 150 and you could live in a 25-year-old body all the way till you were 150, you would be a fool not to give up what you have in order to get what you cannot lose. That's what's caused me to sustain my commitment is because I died in that mental institution. I never lived until I met him. And I don't ever want to not know him. I would rather die first because this means nothing. I'm so challenged. And I'm so carnal. And so weak. May God help us Amen. all to be what He's called us to be. Make sure you guys are taking some notes. These are um, precious.